My mother was a refugee from the Civil War in El Salvador. My father was an immigrant from Mexico, and they met in Los Angeles, and I came along, and so did two younger sisters. I went into the foster care system when I was nine years old. My father was a drug addict and an alcoholic, and when we went into care, we didn't know what foster care was. We were placed in the back of a police car at three in the morning and separated from our parents. And I don't think there's a more traumatic thing than being removed from everything you know. You just disappear. The moment right before I'd opened my eyes, I'd pray that it was all just a nightmare and that I'd somehow still be in my bed. And every time I woke up, it was a constant heartbreak. You know, I, I couldn't escape the feeling that it was my fault, you know, that I'd gone into this terrible situation because of something I did. After eight months of being in the foster care system and being moved in four different placements, we were reunited with my bio family and my father lost all of his parenting rights. Being in foster care made me realize that I was going to grow up and I was going to help children like myself and everybody knew it. And after being reunited and seeing that that kind of trauma didn't end, it only further influenced my, my path in life. I wasn't allowed to talk about anything. The way I found I could talk about it was through these surrealist drawings and paintings that I'd create. And because my upbringing was so traumatic, I kind of used that as an escape. I started creating narratives through metaphors. Art became this like a secret way of telling my story. You know, I did a lot of bird paintings and a lot of animals that were in pain and the different ways that they were attacked. And at first glance, a lot of my pieces seem very morbid. But as you begin to dive into it, you see the overwhelming amount of hope. And it really saved my life growing up, having a way to kind of channel that trauma and the sadness and to kind of see it in a tangible form. I think the stories I tell through my art are far more impactful than anything I could ever say through words. I had a moment when I was 19 when I really sought out to find a greater purpose in my life. I wanted to find a foster care organization to volunteer with. I was remaining true to my nine-year-old self. I remember when I walked into Peace for Kids, I knew at that very moment I had found home. So I began doing my volunteer work there and every child that I made a connection with, every volunteer, the staff members, I felt that little girl inside of me heal more and more. There was a purpose behind it all. Peace for Kids is an environment where people's strengths are emphasized. There's something very magical about the way that we're all allowed to recreate our narratives. For once to feel like you're not the other. Through these connections, find what it is that is so important and uniquely special about you.